Welcome back to RimWorld with the Motley crew. Not a whole lot's happened since the last episode, but we do have a, a list of things to talk you through. But start with the most important. A lone figure is approaching the colony. He wants to talk. You can send the colonists to hear what he has to say. A lone genius is what he's called. I wonder if this is a bit like that magical healer we had to come to the colony for a while. An interesting character. Too smart, abrasive, pessimist, occultist, and disturbing. From our idea, religion is unwaveringly loyal but to, to no one. Um, so I guess that means we just can't recruit him anyway. With an unknown background. 18 intellectual. Yeah, let's see what this dude has to say. Splay. Utaka Splay Creed. So, Diva, you're way off base at the moment. Savage is coming out here. Why don't you come and talk to him, Savage? Hey, Splay wants to join us. Strange figure keeps muttering about some scientific breakthrough. All he needs is a laboratory, which we don't have, unfortunately. If you let him stay, he will share his vast knowledge with you. It's hard to tell whether he's insane or a genius, or both. He's deeply knowledgeable about all things related to the void. He can study unnatural phenomena faster than others, and will also teach others when he gets the chance. He may be very useful, but you also sense there's something Splay is not telling you. Well, Splay, welcome to the team, even if it's only temporary. What's the deal with your haircut? Have you got patches of hair missed? Oh, wow. Splay's got a charge lance. Let's get Splay to work. You don't have much skill in the way of childcare, it's a shame. Uh, teach you, have you teach Lincoln? You do animal, I don't think we have you doing animals or hunting, construction, art. I think we want you doing research and then you can haul if there's nothing to be done. We need a bed for you. Get one made. Well, one of those things needs done is a laboratory. I think I'll go ahead and get that set up. And a comms console. And a uh, orbital trade beacon. Along with getting the floor in there done. That's about all the construction other than just repair work. We need to try and get as many of these walls set up again as possible. That's probably about it in terms of building. I think I've been getting caught in the old, what's the word I'm looking for here, wealth versus tech trap. The wealth has been increasing a lot, but my tech is lagging behind, and that's a problem. Ideally you want your tech to be way ahead, so you can build what you need and you, know, you can put it back, put it away for a while. Now we have to research harp first, because we need to get... Eva's ceremony done, and we can't do that until we have the harp done. That won't take very long, thankfully, even with our crappy normal research speed. And normally wise, I did click on advanced psychic rituals because it sounded cool and thought, yeah, that sounds interesting. But I'm actually thinking dual enhancement. Probably a lot of these other ones here that would be very good to get. But, uh,. Being able to upgrade ghouls sounds good, and I feel like we haven't done a ritual in a while, and I think a skip abduction is on the cards. I'll leave it until the morning. Oops, we've got a fire. Yeah, so I'll just run down the list here. So, monolith study. Eva had a breakthrough while studying the monolith. She believed monolith is a conduit of psychic energy connected to some distant location. However, she's unsure where or what it's connected to. Diva is convinced by studying more anomalous entities she can find a way to close the conduit or learn to harness its power. Um, it provides more knowledge when studying. Okay, so we've upgraded it a bit. Not really, but sort of. Quest has come in about an aristocrat in danger and the Empire. Two raids of two times strength. That is a nightmare. Eleven honor is always hard for me to give up though. It'll expire in two days. Now that's a suicide mission. That is a suicide mission we are not ready for. Get lost. Waste pack clearance from the Empire again. Um, 229 toxic waste packs. Not even close to being able to. All we could do is build a giant fridge and sit on that until the end of time. 
And all we would get is a loose shield pack, which, to be fair, saved our life in the previous episode. Um, some books that I'm sure are fine, good. But, uh, or put a at the end. None of those are beaming out to me that are worth, worth that. Some of our poor dromedaries got the plague. Seems to be in hand. Diva's taking care of that. Not real issue there. And, uh, now we've got a, a, a work drive. Duration. Couple of days. Which is always nice. Since he's our primary, essentially only builder. Hopefully you'll get on to rattling out this floor in here. I think that'll be useful for stopping fires. And a bunch of other stuff to get done. Research, research, research. That is what really needs to happen. Is this holding us up here? 10 components, 250 steel. It's most of our steel. But there's a whole bunch we've been mined out already there. Great. We need to do some get someone to haul that in. Steel is not a problem. Really just labor that's the problem. Leah, have you got any other traits you've been doing about now? You're not a night owl or anything like that. We're gonna do a skip abduction and hopefully turn someone into a ghoul. Got a fair amount of twisted meat, but that is what they shall be consuming. Let's make sure we've got plenty of stocks of that. Yeah, research. So once the harp's done, thinking we need to go in a little bit of an odd one here. Moisture pumps. Why moisture pumps, do you say? Well, there's several. This map is marshland. Well, it's boreal forest technically, but there's tons of marsh everywhere. This here is can't build properly on this, so we can build these, these little wooden bridges and things of light construction. Moisture pumps will let us drain that out, so we can properly upgrade this uh, holding area, and I think it does need upgraded. We're doing 88 strength, which is okay, but it's barely enough for this revenant. Good enough for these simple item, simple creatures. We've already had one escape, didn't we? The um, thing that escaped from here before. It was pretty damn dangerous though, and we got lucky, so I think upgrading the walls and the doors. There is special doors in Anomaly. Yeah, security doors. Black steel on components. They'll be hard to do, but we get hold of some uranium. Not have any uranium? Oh, 38. Need a bit more than that, but uranium walls I think would be doable. And they've got double the hit, point, hit points of granite, I think. I think it'd be worthwhile for our most dangerous creatures. Yeah, and the uh, Oyster Punch will eventually let us, you know, clear up this marshland, giving us room to expand. The moment we're kind of hemmed in, all this marshland here, if I clear on this again, all this marshland, the blue, prevents us from building anything solid. Even little patches like that will become annoying. We want to expand out this way in the time being, not too close to the edge, but with the Anima tree being, I'd say, quite conveniently located there. We'd want to build out this way a bit, reduce that gap, maybe even build a, a secure passageway. But at the moment, we'd have to build on the underside of that marshland out to just about here. Almost certainly worth doing. Although, now that Sao died, I think the only yeah, natural um, meditation type, so the only tribal we have, is Mantis. That'll still be worth doing, but with only one person, it will take a long time to get that anima grass and those psychic powers. Still absolutely worth doing, though. Getting hunting done, that's really good. Our food is not amazing. Hey, lots of twisted meat, but our people can't eat that. Okay, 7 o'clock in the morning, everyone's up. Yeah, I think everybody is ready. Let's do this thing. Keep abduction time. Invoker, who's that going to be? 41% is not good, but let's do it. It's pretty creepy, got to say. Hey, a success. Uh, Mantis. 
you're not in a good mood. How about you capture this dude? A 13, vengeful child, Neanderthal, psychic shock for 14 days. Okay, well, we're not doing that right now then. Better let them recover before we turn them into a ghoul. Yeah, that was pretty cool though, I like that. A manipulating space and time, Diva's abducted Baratol of the Saluk faction. The terrifying nature of the rituals put him into a short-term coma. All right, I like that. That's another person we can essentially turn to a ghoul, a melee warrior for us, a bit like an animal really, rather than a full colonist. Okay, let's get that. Food. Finlow is in a piss poor mood. Oh, we need to convert you. Please, 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 please. Oh, whoa, whoa, actually, hold on. No, it's six days before we can do a conversion ritual. Proper one, that is. So let's do this now. 14%. Ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Any other kind of rituals we could do here? Do, 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 do. Nearby faction, goodwill. What are we doing on the points here? We need 12 to reform it now, not 10. I've done a whole lot of this reforming stuff. Well, we may as well get these done then, yeah? I'll improve people's moods. Okay, he's high, that's gonna make him feel a bit better. Yeah, let's do this. Let's have a... Bear to Turator. Okay, even without an altar and a lectern or pews, it's still 57%. Get everybody involved, let's do it. Blitz this one out. A party, please be good. Fun. 10 goodwill, plus 5 mood, all around amazing. Got a development point, nice one. Things are moving. There we go. Absolute legend. Okay, Divas teaching Lincoln, nice. Hopefully we can get some good growth moments out of you. We need an arm. Aesthetics, we can get kind of crappy arms for now. A long way off of bionics. That is just visiting the graves. I'll allow it. And a mech hive. Great. Five scythers. Two lancers and a pikeman. That's not the worst I've ever seen. And they're going to... Here for a while. That's best news I've ever heard. You've got a really good weapon, actually. Are you shooting of zero? Let's see. Can I get you to take that? Is that gun like locked to you? No. Doesn't look like it is. How about you come and grab some EMP grenades? That's normal quality, but it is long range. How about Diva? How about you come grab that charge lance? Oh, did I interrupt your lesson there? Sorry, Lincoln. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how much longer they're going to be. But what about we get somebody... Oh, they're already beginning their assault. Probably left that a bit late. Pinlo, can you make it down here to hold these doors open? Mm. And we'll get everybody else in position. Don't have any turrets, unfortunately. Oh, man, I don't think Pinlo's got time to go over there. Maybe, actually. You boot it. You might be able to make that. Some of them are going to go around and bash on walls, it looks like, because they couldn't get in immediately. But they all are. This is why you want double walls. Let's get everybody set up. I would love to have a melee in this crew. That would be Pinlo. Hey, Pinlo. Drop that gun. Where's the sword I made for Sao? Here. And then get your way back down here. Savage. Grab that SMG. I even gotta get Lincoln up here. Open those grenades. Go. Cool.
Perfect. This guy might try and hang around the corner here. But he probably will. Nope. Good. Can lose in a piss poor mood. Muckle hunger again, you really need some Icoid. Working amazing. I think you need to put that back a bit more. Kill Pinlow with one freaking shot. You do destroy his neck. God damn. Need to focus fire on Lather. Uh. Okay, how much damage did that do to Mantis? A fair bit, but not terrible. Last one. Okay. Uh, success. If uh, you can call losing Pinlow success. He wasn't our religion. But he was by far our best miner and a great intellectual. He will be a big loss. Savage, make a grave. Mantis, go and get some medical. Everybody else, be free. Yep, for all their faults, Pinlow was a pretty good character. Okay, well, plenty of building to do, plenty of research to get done. Speed up time and see what happens. Okay, we've got a chem fuel power generator set up. That's going to give us a decent bit of power going forward. Get the biofuel reactor fired up again so we can keep that fueled. That is going to let me make, yeah, moisture pump. Got that done. So where are you? Moisture pump. 75 steel. For some reason, I don't have that. That looks like it will cover that whole area. Take a while to drain that swamp, but Need to get it started. Okay, the harp is done. That means we can get it installed here and give Diva her ceremony. So, where would we put a harp? I'm not sure it matters that much. I just stick it there. What happened in the meantime then? So, we had Splay, uh, our guest, made some progress studying the monolith here. I don't think much is going to happen with that. We need, yeah, one more basic entity. We might need to draw an entity ritual. A distress signal came in from a nearby camp. And it seems like they could have some powerful aqua technology, but I just don't think uh, capable of taking that on right now. Team we've got. Not a chance. So that's not getting done. Harbinger tree is sprouted. A little bit worrying, you know, a tribal myth that these trees are the emissaries of a shapeless god who rules an endless black ocean. The god reaches up from the water and tears down the sky. I hope that's not like foreshadowing something bad. Uh, probably is. A psychic drone is absolutely kicking Starry's butt. Can you hold that steel back, Starry? I know you're in a really terrible mood. Some of these folk might break. Play was already a pessimist. I mean, that's not not good. Oh, entity slayer on Starry. 
Daria snapped, he can no longer tolerate holding such dangerous entities in captivity and tends to destroy as many as he can. This happened because of poor mood. The final straw was a psychic drone. Uh, who are you gonna kill? Are oh, you gonna kill my revenant, are you? Alright. That's not so bad. How about you go and capture that revenant for me? <laughs> 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 well done. Oh. Okay, so that should fix your mood, shouldn't it? Yeah, avoid catharsis. Excellent. I love it. Yeah, the sad refugees. But say, um, a person and three children. We'll take them on. How much will they contribute? We'll let that sit for a couple of days. They might, they might probably probably help help them out. I think. And then this one just came in. What's this? Dual Dualerk and the Force Weather. What's your name, Dualerk? is called for help. Hiding from a malfunctioning weather control satellite. Must flee and join you. If she joins you, the weather will be fog for 13 days until the satellite resets. We can't find out anything more. Oh, uh, it's a Wookiee. A Wookiee. Hmm. Yeah. Do it. Fog for 13 days. Can handle that. And Dualerk, a pink Wookiee. <laughs> The wrong idea, religion. Okay. Fast learner, jealous. Uh, that's gonna be oops, annoying. You can't have a nicer bedroom than Diva. It's not happening. Um, amazing at animals. Got a cook as well. Well done. That's gonna be pretty handy. Okay, is Diva's ceremony good to go? What time is it? Nineteen hundred. <laughs> These are well armed. Hellcat rifle. I've still not seen one of those in action. Hey guys. Hey Diva. In the stowing ceremony. Get everybody involved in this. Hopefully, I'm not sure what kind of mood benefits. If it's really good, you might get some extra honor and maybe a decent mood boost. Get it on. Honourable, nice one. So Divas received the title of Dame from the Empire, gained a new Psylink, automatically learned these psychic powers, Word of Joy and Word of Love. Okay, not that helpful in war, but that could help the colony out quite a bit. If she's Judy, she'll demand that the title's privileges are fully respected. Yeah, yeah. My expectations will never be less than high. All right, I'm gonna need clothes. Damn, I forgot about that. We might need to do some clothes research now. Bedroom requirements, okay, 24. All floored. Okay, yeah, so there's a few things to get done there for a bedroom. So we've got two extra honor for that. That's freaking awesome. And I'm not sure there's any kind of mood benefit to that, apart from for, for Diva herself. Honorable bestow. No, there we go. Yeah, six days plus three. That is nice. And Ulex not got a bed. Oopsie daisy. Get another bed in here. Okay, what's the permit choice then Diva's got? Eel drop wouldn't be terrible, but it's Probably not, not the best idea. Labor team, trooper squad. I don't think we need silver. Aerodrome comes in handy a good amount of times. So does transport shuttle. Yeah, so kind of psychic powers is we got then. Pain block, not that helpful. Word of joy, yeah, it's going to help out quite a bit. If we can play with that right now. And uh, that would help stop him from breaking. Word of love. I don't know who we'd hook up here. Mantis and Starry, a match made in heaven. Yeah, yeah, could could do that. Okay, so do lurk. I can I really call that do lurk? Yeah, okay. We might need to rename you. You've got some melee skills, so I think you're gonna be in the morning. Can I grab that, Gladius? I think it's time to build this biofarite shaper. I need some components, but I had this research for a little bit of time now. Could let us make biofarite products. What they are, I'm not entirely sure, but it's part of Anomaly and I would like to check it out. But what about sticking it in the corridor here? Hmm, little reading club we got going here. Hey, everybody's awake, let's try and convert. Do lurk here. Ineffective. 
Yeah, Dulux mood is terrible. Look at all that. Need converted rapidly. Right, do we do avoid provocation? Don't think so. Not this episode. Maybe next. Do another skip abduction. Yeah, so Diva is properly not going to eat simple meals anymore. Which is a pain in the ass. How about we just cook a few meals just for Diva? Yeah, like do until we have four. Alright, zero. Diva's gonna be basically starve. Eating milk right now and got food poisoning from it, I think. Yeah, that's not good. Bedroom's done at least, but uh it's a crap hole and Diva needs an impressive bedroom. We need a bedside table. What else did Diva need for her bedroom? Uh, a dresser and impressiveness. So I'll make this out of wood for now, but I might need to make it out of marble or something. Just try and get the impressiveness in this room up a lot. That's for the only piece of artwork we've got left after that catastrophic base destruction. But I think it needs to stay in the throne room to make that impressive. And winter has begun. I think we're prepped enough okay. Actually, good point. I actually need to get another research on the go. Winters here are quite brutal though. I'm thinking hydroponics. In order to power that though, that would be the real trick, wouldn't it? Well, and you want, need, want solar for that? Chem fuel and wood can get us a long way, but something that doesn't require fuel is kind of up there. Maybe solar panels and hydroponics might be a good shout here. <laughs> Lee keeps doing these weird mutterings that keeps upsetting everybody. Yeah, Splay's ramblings. Yeah, I think Splay might be a little bit insane. <laughs> Ooh, the Biofairite Shaper has been done. We can make ritual masks. I'm guessing are used for rituals. Worship the Void. Ceremonial Hoods. I imagine that's similar. And it's ruler, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably get some of these made up. Disruptor Flare Pack. That sounds good. Shoots disruptor flares on impact. The flare burns a capsule of barrel fire, which creates a bright flash and a local psychic disruption. This stuns psychically sensitive creatures, revealing that are invisible and reducing consciousness and movement speed for a short while. Hell yeah. If, uh, if we get another revenant attack, this will be absolutely clutch, right? I want one of those built right now. Hey, how's this room? 19. And it's awful. Hmm. The best way to spruce this up that I have right now. What about a flower pot? Where is that? Slate flower pot? Or two? So there you go, mediocre, 35. That's actually really close. This place was cleaned up. Probably meets the bare minimum requirements for D.Va. That is great. 16 hours left on this guy. I think that's how we'll finish it up today. Turn that dude into a ghoul. Okay, we've got seconds to go until this guy's dark shock is done and we can turn him into a ghoul. Let's key that up right now. I want to do a ghoul infusion, so we need a shard and a piece of bioferrite. No medical beds are available, that's probably fine. Um, do we need medicine? I have no idea what you need for this. Let's hope uh, Eva can handle that stuff. Come on, hopefully this has got a high success rate. Yeah, there we go. Baratol is our newest ghoul companion. Looking cool, my dude. And because... Oh, it's not done yet, is it? Damn. Yeah, one point away from ghoul infusion. We can hopefully make some, I don't know, armor plating and stuff like that. Because we want some kick-ass melee ghouls. And Neanderthal too. The boot. I don't know if that matters now that he's a ghoul. It looks like it does, so the intervals are great for melee. Cool. I think that is a great place to end it for today, guys. I hope you join me next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.